We're lucky to have with us here Bernard Glock, who is a former client of mine from his days at P&G. Bernard formerly sat atop the world's largest advertising budget. And now he's out on his own consulting and working with uh, emerging media companies. So right. a completely different perspective. That's a completely different perspective. Having had so much money before and having zero money now, it's a different perspective. Yeah. Yes. Well, it must have been exciting um, all those years at P&G. A big challenge and you know, a market leader uh, in the ways you've approached advertising. How are you using that to your advantage today? Well, you know, I was leading Procter & Gamble Media, I think, for the last eight or ten years. And then I asked myself, what is next? And there's not much next, as you said. It's the biggest budget on earth, so what do you do? So I thought I'd do it on my own, so I launched my own company. And I must say, there is life outside Procter & Gamble, and I enjoy this very much. I'm getting that same kind of perspective. I'll bet that you have an opportunity to learn things today that you didn't have when you were at p and What was the likelihood a small emerging media company made their way to your office? Well, I think none of the emerging companies <laughs> ever made it even two levels below me. The, my key learning is coming out of Procter & Gamble. Um, at such a position, you are very well protected, and in a good sense. I mean, you have your people, you have your staff, they sort it out, they filter it through you, so until it reaches you, everything is well baked. Yeah. Also from the agency, they filter a lot, again, to the positive, because they have good intentions. But as a vice president I was there, you n almost never got to the core, to the real people out there. The core ideas, just when they emerged, it was already linked into normal business and it was a running business proposition. Yeah. So I think that was a key wake up when I launched my own company, that I got exposed to those raw ideas, early ideas where people thought, well, it's a great idea, but what do I do with it? And that is just fantastic to use my knowledge and experience to help those companies get up to speed. Are there things you know today that you wished you knew then? Or is it just a completely different world? I, no, no, if I look back, I wished, I wished I had reserved just one day per month yeah. to get out and meet people who I would never meet in my normal job. Just get out. Or reserve a day in a month and let these people come in. But unfiltered, my selection, and raw data, raw ideas to see what is out there. That's good advice for people who are in executive advertising positions. Um, Bernard, what's next for you? Are you going to continue along this path and build your, uh, your company as a, a consulting I had uh, several discussions even today about joining more dominantly other companies. To be honest, I'm not that ready. It is so exciting out there. I feel free. Yes. I don't need to manage up, I don't need to manage down. I manage myself and my family and my key clients. But it is all focused on raw business, core business. And I see the direct impact, which is uh, beautiful. So right now I don't want to have a different experience. Can you tell me about a couple of the companies that you're working with? Um, absolutely. Uh, I became chairman of a media company just recently based in London, near Roma. I have, um, I'm in the board of uh, TMS Way, a mobile phone company, Breakthrough uh, Technology. Um, I have Data Zoo, which you know, yes, in data okay. in, in the Boston on uh, um, real time bidding and yep. uh, ad optimization. And the latest one, which is fantastic, he's a former senior vice president of Yahoo who launched his own company and he used three technologies which haven't existed two years ago, put them together for a media offering. And we are right now working on pilots, though we are not yet even out there. But that is really fantastic. I understand half of what he's saying, <laughs> but the output is so great that I say, I wish I had it before. <laughs> well, you and I are kindred spirits in this way. And That's I know true. that we're both living this kind of life and it's a lot of fun. It is fun. And so, I, I would not like to miss it right now. Yeah. And it's good for us to stay connected on those things, too. Thank you, Bernard. Thank you. You know, we're here at Ad Tech. It's the biggest Ad Tech ever. It's going to be a great show, and it's going to be a great party. So we're mm -hmm. heading back in.